What's the weather forecast? It's raining bitches! Damn! 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 Anime is ruining girls for you. For some of you, anime is just pounding, pounding, pounding your brains out. Sometimes life gets rough, so I see why we always go to anime to escape from our problems. However, sometimes we bring back some goofy ass concepts from anime to reality. I know you can do it, buddy, but I don't! Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid! Use your common sense! All right, let me paint a picture for you. So you're playing a fighting game, and you're getting your ass beat. This slide. I've got to ratio this nigga! But then you go on anime, and it makes you feel bad about yourself. Believe in yourself. Be true to yourself. Blah, blah, blah. You hop right back on a fighting game, you're pumped up, and you go, you know what? Let me use the exact same play style I was using before I watched this anime to get my ass kicked again. That's stupid! And you know, I get it. You know, you want to play the way you want to play. However, if you want to win, sometimes you might have to sacrifice how you want to play and switch it up for a better play style. Now, Ali, what's the weather forecast? It's raining bitches! Damn! 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 Some guys love life. They think it's going to be a harem anime. But I can let you know right now, it's definitely going to be berserk. For some people, they watch a lot of edgy and harem animes, and sometimes this can trans over to real life. I know some of my friends personally, they tell me, oh, I won't even go up and talk to a girl. They got to talk to me. But if you don't get girls to begin with, let's do the math on that. Zero current hoes plus zero riz equals extra loneliness. I want to die. That's why God of flashiness is a firm believer of just getting out there, having fun, and getting what you want. Holy God, what are you this showing me? His head. Come on! Open your eyes! I want to just squeeze the life out of whoever made up this myth. Who made this up? And what's messed up is that your mom, your auntie, your sister, your cousin is still going to preach this BS to you. Hey! You gotta do no. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit, oh. man. Even anime, they have the guy having a lot of chivalry, being a simp and stuff like that. But a lot of times, if you act like this, <laughs> then they'll start to act like this. Honestly, if you're having trouble, here's a couple tips. Ask somebody who you know that gays girls. And just ask them for advice. And trust me, they'll want to give you answers because people like that, all they want to do is talk about themselves. And two, I feel like a lot of times we kind of psych ourselves out when we talk to people. So honestly, like when you see somebody that you want to talk to, just do it. Don't even think about it because you'll try to give yourself reasons not to talk to that person. So taking challenge of the week go up to a random person boy or girl whatever and just give them a compliment okay this way it'll get you more easy into talking to people and with girls it'll make them seem more human now i know some of you are going to be all but 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 like on a flashiness won't that give women validation well all right slayers let's get it done